because we're sitting on the tennis courts with uh, with some technical issues. And San Antonio's own Terrence Steele is having a seat with us right now. Hey, Terrence, don't mind all the mess here. We're trying don't to wire things brake up. Lights. Don't mind them brake lights. We'll get you where we're going. Yeah, there we go. Morning, man. Huh? You sound good? Yes, sir. All right. Good to see you, man. You you look good. Like the scar. Thank you. Thank you. Your little you. zipper action yeah. going there. How you feeling? Battle scars. Yeah, man. You, chicks dig scars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm feeling great, though. Uh, probably the best I've ever felt in the camp. So. Is it, it? Really? No, seriously. Yeah. Why? Uh, I don't know. Just I guess it's, I'm just more comfortable now. It's my, my third camp here. Uh, had a really good off season. You know, just recovering and uh, taking care of my body. So that's just, I feel great out here. So how how did the, how did the rehab go? Was it like let's take take us through it? Like you you get injured, take us through the injury, how you felt, and then take us through the rehab portion and yeah. what the toll it takes on you mentally more than physically. I mean, you're a young guy. I'm like I said, physically I feel like you'd be okay, but yeah. mentally, where did that take you? Yeah. So uh, I'll just start off with the injury. It was uh, ACL, MCL, and PFL. Wow. Um, I got surgery like two days after right after i got hurt mm -hmm. uh oh really that quick yeah, yeah it was quick the right quick turnaround um the first two three weeks i was just uh in bed um really just trying to get the swelling out i had this machine that would move your leg yep uh just constantly bending right. it so i was in that for a couple of weeks and then uh I, then i finally start my my rehab program i'd go up to the facility with britain then I would go to uh, see them pretty much every day of the week. Uh, I so I did that for a couple months, uh, just normal rehab stuff. And uh, I was talking about the the mentality part of it. Um, I knew just hearing other people and just how they've went through their injuries and they've told me to keep your mentals in check. So I was always pretty aware of that. So um, I didn't really have any issues there. Uh, I just kind of took it day by day and um, knew I was going to have some good days, some bad days. So I just, I just, you know, I didn't want, I didn't want to get too high, too low. Mm -hmm. I just want to stay eating kills. So. Uh, you're, you're, you're a vet now. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean, do, do you feel like, like a vet? Crazy. I do. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's been, it's been, it's been a couple years, four years now. Yeah. Uh, it went by kind of fast. And everyone said it really it, has. It really does go by fast. So w w talk about responsibilities now as, as a vet in the room. Yeah. I mean, um, really just, uh, just being a leader um, uh -huh. on and off the field, and they'll just making sure you know the first, second year guys have everything they need, need to know. And if they have any questions, and you know, I want to be open book to them, I don't want I want them to come up to me and ask them ask me whatever they want. So, what's it like without having that guy to your left here at camp? Yeah. I mean, that's a, this would be your first time not, not having him at camp, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. right? What's it been like without Zach around? Man, uh, it's huge. Uh, and he's the leader of the team. Um, everyone can feel his presence gone, you know, um, but it's, it is a business, you know, there's business aspects of this game and, uh, he, he's, he's in that right now. So, well, the, the business side is in, it's your back door as well. Yep, yep. yep. I mean, if we're being honest, if we're being honest, it's time for you to get it. it you, you're, you've earned it. It's, it's time yep. for you to get paid too. Yep, yep, so I mean, yeah. what kind of contract we, we talking about? We talking about <laughs> Lane Johnson? Well, you know, I know you know, you and your yeah. agent know the list I of the just, top. I let my agent <laughs> okay, handle that's... all of that. I just, I just want to focus on coming back to the field and you know, on just being the best best team that I can be. So, you know, that's with, a good answer. With, that's a, I'm, I'm going yeah. to let that rock. See, answer. he's a vet. He's a vet <laughs> he's now. A vet. He answers. A, okay. Now, with the absence and with what we've seen with the line, there's some talk about maybe position moves. How do you feel about a guard, left guard? Uh is that real? Is that is that real? I, I think that was just um, some snake oil being sold is there. Uh, I, so no one on the staff, no one on the staff, no offensive line coach, no OC, nobody ever came to you talk about left no, guard. Nothing. It's all always been just right tackle. But I mean, do you feel like you could? And if are they you did? interchangeable though? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I I feel like I have the most experience at right tackle. I know I played there in college and um, obviously these last couple of years here. So. Uh, I mean, that's, I feel like that's my best position, but mm -hmm. if they felt otherwise, and I don't know. I guess we have to figure it out. So, so it's you, Zach, mm -hmm. and if we're being honest, Biotis. Yep. Yep, Tyler. Tyler's all like, three of y'all, it's – Yeah. It's, how you feel about all three of y'all, right, are pretty much at the same time? Well, Zach's kind of cutting the line a little yeah. bit, but he's the leader. We let Zach cut the line if chose be, but it's about time for all three of y'all to get paid. Yeah, no, that would be huge. Uh, you know, me and Tyler came in together. 
Okay. Just to keep, mm-hmm. Continue that continuity. You know, that'd, that'd be huge if, if we could all you know just stay here a couple little longer. So we are joined by Terrence Steele, San Antonio's <laughs> own. See, we claim you when we say San Antonio. See, now so that you you big time. So yeah. you said you can't. We can't when give you, you the tech, You were just similar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're like he's like wait he played for the Cowboys he's from San Antonio we be we be jacking <laughs> Cibolo we, we claim it San Antonio no oh, so what part I'm like, okay Cibolo <laughs> yo you see Cibolo now I know your parents and everybody else around speaking of uh Greg Williams LG's father yep, told me yep. to tell you hello no, yeah. I know you know Greg yeah, no, he I'm told me Greg. the owner in 1911 he told me hey man if you yeah. see Terrence make sure you tell him I said hello yeah, what's up Greg I know you're listening so what's up man you and his son played together yeah. still right yeah, he's, yeah. My, he's my QB in high school oh, okay so how much time do you spend in San Antonio um, I haven't been back this year because I was up and down. Good for you. Ain't nothing. That, yeah, man, you're not, not but a bunch dude, of tacos. You are on. <laughs> and I, yeah, dude, you you play for the Cowboys. Yeah. Everything that's going on in San Antonio will be there when you're done. No, that's true. It's not, like, ain't nothing there but people that's trying to get true. you to do stuff that you ain't got time for. <laughs> you know? No, I, I just been this year. I've been up and up and Re- Was that yeah. where the rehab was? Yeah. Okay. How did you feel watching Ty- Tyron Smith just come over there to right tackle? You think you think he's a better – who's a better right tackle? You or Tyron? I mean, Tyron's Tyron. Tyron. He, he's just – But this is right tackle we're talking about. You can be honest. <sighs> give yourself your flowers. Is hey, he a better I, right tackle I'm than gonna, you? I'm going to give Tyron his flowers. He's still, <laughs> he still is good no matter, no matter where you put him. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, he's he's the GOAT, obviously. Um, One of the best left tackles ever. And then he went with the right and didn't walk. He missed a step. So, so coming to Oxnard, season starting again. Yep. You're gone through rehab. Tell us about it. I mean – what you you said your altitude's great attitude right. where when are we going to see you active on the field in pads doing all that you you feeling yeah. good yeah so think... today's actually first day in pads right uh oh wow. last week uh they're just being smart about the smart workload they're kind of just mm-hmm. they're i'm doing a lot of indie i do some team stuff there's some team stuff i haven't done uh we'll i'm not sure what i'm doing today and all that but you know they're they're being smart with my workload and kind of working me back into things how's this offense feel behind you this texas Man, coast offense we keep hearing about pretty good does it communications there everyone's everyone's you know everyone's grooving it's, it feels like it's all coming along really good what's the biggest difference in this camp with coach mccarthy calling the play what do you feel like the biggest difference in this camp versus your first three with mike and kelly um biggest difference or you've just been pretty much focused on your rehab and not have really had a chance to really take that in yet? Um, I've, I've been focused on my rehab. I haven't really thought about that. Like yeah, that, I got you. So, you know that makes sense. What do you do? With, what's Do you look forward to anything here? In Oxnard, when you get here, is there a place you go, a place you do look something that you look forward to doing? Or is it just <laughs> look forward you to don't get off? This really? is like coming getting to prison for a that, month. Getting out that heat. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that Texas heat. Um, I don't know. I, I like coming here just kind of get away from Dallas a little bit. Um, it's really just the weather, man. You can't leave. No me. restaurants you head toward that you look forward to coming to, or uh, there's a couple sushi ones. Ah, we got sushi. Uh, See, we're hoping for some suggestions. Yeah, there's there's a spot called Anaba. That's pretty good. Um, other than that, I really haven't got to explore too much. Did you do anything yesterday with your off day? No, I was I was up here. I just wanted to stay off my feet. And, uh, Absolutely. Did some cold tub. Did a little mobility. Uh, just wanted to, wanted to feel good for this week. He is Terrence Steele. He is the right tackle for the Dallas Cowboys, and he's right here on San Antonio Sports Star. Yeah, go ahead. Well, you know, as we as we you get your first day in pads, uh, is there an excitement level or is it about ah, here we go? Because nah, I'll yeah. never feel better than I do right now, and I'm gonna put on pads, and I won't feel this good yeah. again until February. Nah, when I put pads on, man, I feel I feel like a gladiator, man. I love it. Mm. So coming out here and just putting pads on, getting to you know actually hit someone. It's been what eight months since i've been able to hit someone so, so I'm looking forward to it. This, right, go ahead i was gonna say this is your fourth year and we come here and we see all the uh new stands and everything yeah. kind of coming up does it feel different out there i mean does uh, is the sound bit. different a little bit because they got some new vip right. stands for the the fan and stuff uh a little different a little, little bit of a change just to but it kind of feels the same so it's like a healthy healthy mix between the two you you I, if I remember we talked to you last year you're a gamer right you play I do I play Call of Duty you Call of Duty COD yeah. so you're not a Madden guy no no no, no Madden no. so just COD is that it uh Call of Duty of GTA so did you bring the box play I did I of course box, yeah. well you never know you never know <laughs> I mean there's right. other stuff going on yeah that's true rehab and everything else going on but yeah man um well we hope 
you know, we hope you get that bag. Yes, sir. I and if that. you do, what, what's the first thing you're going to do besides save it and take care uh, of it? I'm going to take care of my people first. Mm -hmm. um, probably buy my mom some. Give my pop some. You know they're going to tell you we don't want nothing. We don't yeah, need so nothing. Surprise you know that's what they're going to tell you. I already know. But I, I got a plan for them. <laughs> what's the best thing you did in the offseason? I know you're rehabbing. I had to do a lot of work. But hopefully you had some time to go. What's the best thing I did? If you have to think about it, it couldn't. Have it was been probably you were, you were working too hard. I was really rehab. I, when I tell you every week, man, it was it was in the lab every week. Man. It was a grind. Yeah. Is this the first significant say, I injury? Went to, uh, I went to Austin. I went to Joe Rogan's new comedy new comedy club there. So that was that was kind of cool. I was in July. Joe Rogan, the Oprah of his podcast. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's the man. Yeah, no, he's yeah. He's, he's Is this guy. your first significant injury? Have you ever had to deal with this before? Yeah, no, first first injury where I, where it required surgery mm -hmm. and I had to miss. Uh, this the season, so the remaining of the season. So yeah, this is my first real injury. How long before you felt like you were a person again after you got hurt? Um, it took and really until I, I was out. The first couple of weeks where I was just in bed and finally when I got to get out and start moving and stuff, that's kind of literally the worst time in my life. Yeah, no, stuck on your back with yeah, that thing sucks. bending your leg twenty four hours sucks, a day. Man. Literally the worst. Well, man, you went through the gauntlet. Now the payoffs come, and congratulations on getting where you are. And we look and we bid you as always great health Thanks, and a great man. season. We're Terrence Steele, San Antonio's own Terrence Steele, right tackle with the Dallas Cowboys. Enjoy that Tyron Smith RB in the waiver. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. The soft jams coming. Tyron, well, see, you told you I don't know. You know, I don't even remember yeah, last year. You said, "Hey, it's Tyron. Tyron gets the control." <laughs> He loves all the old school RB. Me too. We all do. Uh, I'm from that era. So, yeah. Hey, Terrence, stay appreciate healthy, you, man. man. We're glad you came by. Yeah, we appreciate you, season. man. Terrence Steele's coming by here on San Antonio Sports Star. And that's just the beginning of this week as we have bring you everything you need for your Dallas Cowboy coverage. Terrence is looking good. Hey, Crocs, man. Is this is that's this all big, everybody? Is, they're, they're is it all across the dude. team now? Well, yeah, man. Respect. But there's some people who refuse to put those things on. They're comfortable, man. Well, some of us, uh, all right, but don't have the feet. Terrence is coming by. Cowboys training camp live from Oxnard, California. Powered by AA Best Bail Bonds, Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds, Texas Cheer Liquor, and 941 San Antonio Sports Star.